Australians can no longer access CNN's Facebook pages. That's after the news giant decided to pull its Facebook presence in the country after the High Court ruled this month that publishers can be liable for defamation in public comment sections. The move makes CNN the first major news organisation to pull its Facebook presence in Australia. Though it's not a major player in Australian media consumption, the decision could have reverberations across the industry if other outlets follow suit. Peter Lewis is the director of Think Tank Centre for Responsible Technology. He says a number of news organisations are looking at switching off comments on their stories posted on Facebook due to the legal risk. The publishers, I think, have come to the conclusion that running community content through Facebook, if they are actually responsible for it, actually undermines one of the reasons they pushed it onto that platform in the first place, which was that it was obviously cheaper and easier than employing their own moderators. CNN said that Facebook declined a request to help it and other publishers disable public comments in the country following the ruling, which was made during the course of an ongoing defamation lawsuit. A Facebook spokesperson said recent court decisions had shown the need for reform in Australian defamation law and the company looked forward to, quote, greater clarity and certainty in this area. Lewis says CNN may be the first but won't be the last to pull out. There'll be more of this. We've had this major disruption in the way that we we share communication and, and make sense of the world and Facebook is the big beneficiary in terms of the money they've made out of that shift and the fact is that there needs to be a reckoning and I think we're living it at the moment. Shalom, <clears throat> I'm giving all praises, honours and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kadash. Double honours to the apostles and the elders of the Church of Great Millstone and Shalom to the sincere and hopeful elect, you brothers out there that's prophesying in the true name and in the true doctrine about the times of in the attitude for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, this is for the brother Kodash Paya. This lesson is, um, I don't know what to title it, but all this that's going on showing you that the doors of repentance is closing, right? That famine of the word is nigh at hand. And um, as you can see here, this is on routers. Right, the article of the video you just seen, CNN denies Australians access to its Facebook pages, uh, sites, defamation risk, and also uh, CNN, uh, Slocky, yeah, CNN. But it's not a coincidence how this is all escalating after the whole talks about cyber attacks happening here and there, you see, and... I believe um, during the intensity of the first wave or lockdowns, there was a lot of uh, access denied for even students to uh, go online and, you know, if, if, if they were um, unvenom, right? And over here on routers, again, it says YouTube blocks all anti-venoms content right and these both popped up within the same day you see so you're having a lot more of brothers and whistleblowers channels get terminated on YouTube because of the sensitivity of the policies and restrictions that that you know that they um bringing out and also with with content certain comments Going back here, you know, with basically that word def defamation, right? Meaning what? The action of damaging the good reputation of someone, slander or or libel, right? So a lot of uh, people, like with their comments and things of that nature, when you go on the comment board of certain YouTube channels, you have a lot of people saying certain things and exposing certain things. You see, so now that's even being uh, limited as well. But see, they're hitting not only YouTube but different social media platforms as far as uh, as far as Facebook, because a lot of people put, um, you know, breaking news information on there, right? And even you know, with the truth, you know, but. 
with all these uh, uh, social media platforms getting shut down and threats of cyber attacks and blackouts, you know, that's the Lord showing us that, you know, we're not going to be preaching and teaching the truth any much longer, man. You see, so the doors of repentance is, is, is closing. So this is the book. I got a couple of precepts. The book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. You know, the most famous precept for this topic. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. You see, and even in the ancient times where um, you have prophets, they get they they had gotten uh, locked up, or even unto the to the point of death. You see, so there was always a time where the Lord brought out men to preach the truth before the downfall of that kingdom, and a time for them to be shut up. Right, and we're heading to that time, man. You know, because when all hell breaks loose. You know, we're not going to be out there teaching no more in the streets. Because they're even limiting uh, gatherings, right? And so-called religious buildings and things of that nature. You know? Which the Lord don't dwell in temples made with hands anyway. He dwelleth in nuts. You see, but... Hey, man, that's, that's why... That's why when, uh, when all hell break loose, the scriptures say, Then shall they know that a prophet was among them. Is the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 26 and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house so the Lord is gonna have um, our tongues cleave to our our mouths so when we, you can't talk with your tongue cleave to the top of your mouth you know what I mean so, and he's doing that in the form of these new restrictions and policies, you know, because, hey man, things are getting more tighter. You know, you even have people that's, you know, athletes um, endorsing the whole venom, but there's repercussions for those that don't endorse the venom. And what? They, they, they basically, I'm not going to say black men, but they, they basically shunned them nationally using them as an example you know towards those that don't want to comply you know the scriptures say uh, um, he calls it all both small small and great rich and poor you see so there's no respect to person you know because we know what what the, um, the, the, the main goal here is you know with these elites right that's controlling these social media platforms that's owned by these uh, Zionists, you know. But it says, the book of St. Luke, chapter 13, verse 25, when once the master of the house is risen up and have shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without. So the Lord is about to shut this door, you know, which is your mind. And, and you know, people are not going to be able to receive this word no more. You know, they're going to run to and fro, right? Because right now is the time where people are, are, are hearing about the words of the Lord. You know, they're hearing about, even with, with um, whistleblowers that's ex exposing certain um, lies and, and, and propagandas, right? And also over there in Russia, where they're banning... I believe is uh, RT News, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, man. I mean, this is gonna be a global thing. But uh, this book is saying, I'm uh, I'm gonna read it again. Saint Luke chapter 13 verse 25. When once the master of the house is risen up and have shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without, so these people are gonna stand without that knowledge, because the door represents your mind. It says, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. You see, and you have a lot of people that's not coming to straight into the to the door, the straight gate. They want to come in some other way. But you also got a lot of false 
prophets and, and, and leaders, leading the sheep astray. Right? So this book is saying Matthew chapter 25, verse 8. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us our, of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. So we're not going to just keep giving out our oil and, you know, it's a time to speak and it's a time to be quiet. And right now we're in a time of war. So soon, you know, when all hell break loose, we're not going to be, you know, pleading with people anymore. You know, that's when all uh, um, the doors of repentance are shut. Even as the Lord shut the door of, of the ark during the time of Noah. You see? When the scriptures say, um, as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. As they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, they knew not to the flood came. So these people, they're partying, drinking, they're not considering, they're not considering these things. Or considering that it's prophetic from the Lord. You know? But when all hell break loose, that's when they're gonna, you know, seek to and fro. Seeking a, a, a refuge You see But right now the Lord has his hands out still man You know We're still in the grace period You know But it's 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 wearing thin man So this book of Isaiah chapter 24 verse 10 The city of confusion is broken down Every house is shut up That no man may come in There is a crying for wine in the streets All joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone. And we're seeing that now. The mirth of the land is gone. Right? Even with these uh, necessities and commodities. All these different shortages here and there. You know? You're seeing that pressure coming. Right? And that's, 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 that's also showing you that not only that time is speeding up. You know, like it says in Revelation 12 and 12. That he had but a short time. These elites, they know that they have but a short time. So that's why they're there. The Lord is using them to usher these things quicker, you know? But what? People are going to be running, looking for the truth, seeking the wine, right? Because the scripture is referred to as what? Oil, bread, water, you see? And even wine, and it could be twofold, you know? Because it says the mirth of the land is gone. And hey, man, it's showing you that right over there in Australia where they. You know, it's 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 brutal. Australia, New Zealand, you know, it's becoming a, a, a dictatorship, man. Right with their draconian measures, right over there in uh, uh, the UK, you know, and also people are protesting about these uh, um, new mandates and restrictions and policies and whatnot. You know, speaking up, so that's also causing. You know, because every action is a reaction. So the reaction is them, the, these elites, you know, wanting to shut things down. You know? Because, uh, hey, this internet, it, it's, it's backlashing on them. So uh, let's get the book of St. Matthew, chapter 11, verse 17. It says, And saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you. And ye have not lamented, right? So the, from the apostles on up, you know, the men of the Lord, right? In the true, that's teaching in the true name and the true doctrine in the streets. You know, prophesying to the people, you know, with this word is, is that song, that new song that's, that's, that's being played, you know, uh, unto all nations. But what? People are not, they're not listening. They're not taking heed to it. That's why it says uh, they have not danced. You know, we're mourning unto them. We're telling them about these prophecies. We're telling them the promise. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, that they're, they're, they're the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Assembly Indians, which are the biblical Israelites. We're telling them about the promises and everything, man. You know, the whole book, right? But what? They 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 turn in the, uh, the deaf ear, man. You know, so what? They're going to have to suffer the consequences when all hell break loose, man. You know, straight up. Because that's what prophesying is. Telling you something before it happens. Because once it's happening, then that's it. Well, there's no more prophesying. It, it's already happening. 
you know this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 33 and when this cometh to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet have been among them and what shall come to pass you know fat, great famines pestilence you know world war 3 the hour of temptation martial law right Jacob's trouble you see and also the return of Yahweh shot with the holy angels because when he come back to, he's not going to plead with nobody he's coming back for vengeance as a roaring lion of Zion to, to, to not only destroy primarily a, a, a Babylon the great aka America but to deliver his elect that's laboring to enter into that rest pursuing uh, Hebrews I believe 4 and 11 alright so I'm going to close off with this in the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 17. It says, the wickedness, Salakia, uh, consonants, is in 25, hold on. Salakia, I'll close off with this in Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. All right, so the spirit is gathering only the elect. The majority that don't want to, you know, get right and seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, and that's another thing. That's how we know he may be found. Because of all these prophecies that's coming to pass. You know, that's when people are going to start calling upon their gods, these different names. But the Lord is not going to listen to you. Because you had your time. You know? It was, it was a time for everything. Alright? Just like the people that wanted to go into, inside Noah's Ark. The Lord shut the door. That's it. You know? You had your chance, man. Right? That's why the scriptures speak about the prophets rising up early. But what? We're heading to the midnight. You know? That 11th hour to midnight. You know, when all hell break loose, man. So, hey, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Not everybody's going to be persuaded until it's too late. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, Shalom.